Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I'm so glad you're here with us today. Today what we're going to do, we are going to take this uh, cupel and this lead prill that we got from our concentrate from the um, acid wash CPU pins and we had some issues with this and so we decided that what we're going to do, we're going to get a new cupel, we're going to take uh, this lead prill and we're going to put it in the new cupel and heat it up to about 2000 degrees and add in some borax to this and see what reaction it's going to have on this prill so let's get to it here is our lead prill and you can see that there is a lot of copper on this prill we have our cupel heated up to about 1800 degrees It's amazing to see that the temperature has reached 1977 degrees and the prill has done nothing but just sat in the cupel. Well, you can see that our prill has finally opened up. The prill has finally opened up because we have reached a temperature of 2,200 degrees. We have reached the point in this procedure to add some borax into our cupelling process. We repeated this process four times more. We have our cupel at 2,500 degrees. With this tremendous amount of heat of 23 to 2500 degrees, you can see that the cupel now is deformed as well as the prill. At this point in the process, I am blowing in some air and oxygen with my shop vac to oxidize our material and we'll see what we're going to get out of this. Okay, you can see with the extreme heat that we got up to between 24 and 2500 degrees <laughs> that the cupel is pretty messed up and I'm sure the massive amount of borax I had put in there uh, assisted with that. But you can see that really nothing happened uh, with our prill, but now our prill is deformed. And so we're waiting for it to cool off and I'm going to see if I can get that prill out and see what's going on with it. Okay, we were able to crack open the cupel 
and you can see the colors inside the cupel. Uh, I guess it did absorb some of the material that was in that prill. And if you look at the prill, look and see how thin it is now. And you can see that there is a lot more copper all throughout the bottom of this prill. So we're going to continue in uh, breaking this open and get that prill out and take a closer look at it. Okay, here is what we got out of our cupel and you can see how much copper is in the, in the prill. So I guess we could safely say it's a copper prill, but there's more copper in here than anything else. And these are the bits and pieces of the cupel that I had broken off of the copper uh, prill. And so anyhow, I think uh, this ought to wrap this up. And if any of you have any suggestions or ideas or just your thoughts, share it in the comments below and I would deeply appreciate it. Since copper melts at 1,984 degrees, I now understand why it took so much heat to be able to melt this prill because it was full of copper. Well, this concludes this project on our acid wash CPU pins and this episode as well. I don't think there's anything more that we can do, but basically those, uh, those CPU pins had a lot of copper in them. And I will take a closer look later on to see if there's anything else inside of it, but I don't think there's very much of anything else inside of it. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did enjoy this episode, I encourage you to hit that like button and to share this on your channel so others can enjoy the experiment and the process of this acid wash CPU pins. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to become part of our AU family. We love to have you in the family. We're so thankful that you're here. We're thankful for your support and we will see you on the next one one.